Watch this, dude. <laughs> they all spawned there. <laughs> What's up my fellow alcoholics and welcome to the channel and in today's video we'll be going over the crossbow and also my two example loadouts uh, when it comes to using the crossbow to complete the camo challenges especially to me honestly the hardest one being the long shot challenge um, also the mounted kills are a little tough and uh, not to mention the double kills but we'll get into those loadouts in a little bit uh, starting with the ground war 10v10 loadout and pretty much your long shot loadout uh, you're going to want to use the 28 strand cable for the bolt velocity and then you're going to run the xrk thunder 200 pound arms for the damage over range and also bolt velocity and to pretty much hit those long range targets it's going to help out. So the, running the TAC laser for the uh, ADS time is a great option also. And then running the Range Master VZ. You can also run the 4x scope, which you actually unlock pretty early. Um, but it's a little difficult to use uh, as opposed to the Range Master. The Range Master was a lot easier. So definitely needed for those long shots. Uh, going to the stock, the FSS speed track, that's pretty much for your ADS time. Because this crossbow has horrible ADS time. So two attachments for ADS being the laser, the tack laser, and the stock definitely helps with your ADS. And then as far as the bolt velocity um, attachments, they come with the price. Now you, you, will, you will hit your targets at long range a lot easier and it's a lot more accurate when it comes to the actual bolt drop. But it also loses a lot of accuracy so the bolt will flare off here and there and then this is my 6v6 loadout so you're going to go with the xrk quill uh 100 pound for the ads time and your movement speed recoil control doesn't really matter uh you're going to use the tack laser for your ads time the stock for your ads time which is the fss speed track um and then you're going to use sleight of hand because it's definitely needed and i'll explain why um and for the foregrip, you're going to use the speed grip for your ADS time. Now, this is all strictly your kind of like quick scoping, but it's a quick scope arrow setup. Uh, I don't run any attachments on it because the actual iron sights aren't that bad to use. They're actually pretty easy. And uh, I started to struggle with this for a little while. Then I realized that I can just run around the map and quick scope people with it. And that definitely helped out a lot. So, um a lot of fun to use on 6v6 as you'll see later in the ma uh, in the uh, video on uh, shoot house I had a lot of fun using it and got some pretty good clips there so for the testing um, I pretty much stretched it out to see how far I mean up close anywhere f between the distance I just took this bolt shot now is all pretty accurate it's only when the bolt starts dropping off at that point so that I aimed for center mass and as you can see the bolt dropped uh, about a good six or seven inches down uh, a little lower from where I was aiming now this is a normal setup so this is not the ground war setup so this is just a standard crossbow and as you can see for the as long as far back as I can go where I can still remain accurate the bolt didn't even make it to the target as you can see I mean that's a good what three foot drop so that's definitely bad for that super long range but throwing on those those uh, attachments to for bolt velocity, you're gonna see with these shots, now they're not gonna be as accurate, but they're going to hit their mark regardless. So I aimed center mass there. The arrow is center mass, it's just not center of the target. As you can see, it went off to the right, but that's still a kill shot. That is a one shot kill regardless. And then for the long range, I should have put on a scope for you guys, but I just wanted to see what you guys think about this iron sight here. So I can still see my target at that long range. And with these bolt velocity attachments, as you can see, the bolt made it all the way and almost hit center mast. So those are key, key attachments when it comes to hitting those long shots. They're going to help out a lot. You're just going to sacrifice a little ADS time. So the video in the background you're going to be watching is me kind of giving examples of the long shots that I hit with that particular setup. But as you can see, the ADS time is just a little bit slow, a little on the slow side. But you're giving yourself a better chance at hitting those long range shots, especially you got to hit them chest to, chest to waist high. That's where you're going to get your one shot kills with the bolts. Now, when you guys throw on thermites and 
you throw on explosive tips, keep in mind that it's making the bolt a lot heavier. In reality, it actually does make the bolt a lot heavier. So you're going to have to aim a lot higher. So my overall recommendation for when you take these shots uh, at any range is at least try to aim for the head. Now, if you're going to be using the bolt attachments, or I'm sorry, the uh, the, arrow, the bow attachments to make it actually travel faster, um, definitely aim for the head because you're going to be hitting head to chest depending on how far your target is so all in all to tell you guys the truth this was a pretty like time consuming weapon to actually get like damascus for it was it was pretty tough for me um especially getting the long shots i saved the long shots for the last part of the of the life cycle of the uh of the weapon i just mostly did everything else mounted kills uh double kills which i'll get into that too going back to the 6v6 loadout 6v6 loadout needs the sleight of hand for your double kills even with sleight of hand the reload time is ridiculously slow but if you can get off two arrows consecutively right after you uh reload the the bolt it'll count as a double kill so definitely try to do that. I found a lot of success doing that in uh, shipment, especially around now where this video is going to release. It's shipment is 24-7, and so is Shoot House. Shoot House, I got a lot of success for that too. So definitely run sleight of hand when you guys are trying to do those double kills. They are gonna, It's going to come in handy big time. But all in all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was a little useful. If you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to like button and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And don't forget the notification bell for future uploads and streams. Um, drop in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys run for your crossbow. I'm very interested to know uh, if you guys run different bolt setups, if you run different uh, arms, anything like that. You know, Please feel free to drop down in the comments because I, I, I always love to try different loadouts. So enjoy the rest of this video, you guys. Enjoy the shoot house gameplay at the end because I had a lot of fun on a little like streak too, which was kind of funny. And uh, I actually got a chopper gunner with a crossbow, so it was pretty hilarious. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was useful. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching. And I'll catch you guys next time. Enemy crossbow strike, get coming. Get coming. Keep your enemies in your domination. objectives. Losing B. Ah! Enemy near main street.
should have got a freaking. I got a chopper gunner. <laughs> I got a chopper gunner for the crossbow. <laughs> They were at the bottom. Dude. 